Alex Clinic was um, established in, in 1929. It was started as a mother and child center. It grew um, in the 1930s, a Virtual University got involved um, and, and hence the name University Clinic in the, you know, Alex Clinic name. So the facility has a rich history in Alex uh, during the apartheid years. When people were struggling, they couldn't find, uh, they couldn't, couldn't go to any facility, they would come straight here. We now have about 170 thereabout staff members see in excess of, let me say, between 800 and 1,000 patients a day here. Um, from, from casualty patients um, all the way to HIV AIDS uh, clinic. And um, a pioneering work that we're doing with Ububele as our partners in mental health. We see a lot of uh, parasuicide cases where people are just taking, um, um, you know, some concoctions that have red poison and a whole lot of other things in them, and they and they they end up in our in our casualty department. We're seeing a lot of cases of teenage pregnancies. Are they not strong enough mentally to handle this, um, and they end up, you know, trying to terminate the pregnancy, but then using illegal ways, which end up endangering their own lives. These, for me, are, are symptomatic of a of a bigger problem, you know, that that exists within society, and we cannot look the other way and keep on thinking that you know mental health is not a big problem when actually it is. We we try and find all sorts of excuses. Um, when there is a mental health problem. When a child is experiencing develop developmental pro problems, we tend to think of, you know, a whole lot of things that could possibly be wrong, but, you know, the real issue that is there, we don't, we don't tackle it as is. That in itself um, is, is a challenge. We still need to deal with the stereotypes because most of the, of the issues that we think about are based on stereotypes than actually scientific evidence. And I've been happy that, you know, the, the, the team at Umuwele has been coming here on a regular basis, sitting down with the mothers, help, helping them go through the challenges and actually just um, um, educating them on the different developmental stages and developmental challenges that, that you know, the, the, the little ones um, may experience along the way. And that has been very helpful because we've had, you know, very good positive feedback um, from, the, from the, the parents because mental health has been an area that has been in a way neglected for a long time in the African communities. It's difficult for people to sort of conceptualize the whole idea and see what we're talking about when you're talking about a baby med project, you know. Um, but when you're talking about someone who's sick, they can see this person, you bring in the drugs and here are the drugs and there's a doctor seeing the patient, giving the drugs. That kind of a thing is different to saying this child has a developmental problem. So it's difficult to get to get support. For us, it's more like a, a labor of love. You have to keep doing it. You have to continue doing it. And you see the results um, at a later stage. We're not doing this looking for credits. We just want to see development happening as and when it, it's supposed to happen.